Sir, I'm Julia. And I'm Ashley. Let's take a look at a student life project with Rachel Yoder. Rachel Yoder, a student athlete at Gaither who runs track, just reached a personal record of her own. Let's take a look at how she got there. Hi Gaither, this is Ashlyn reporting for GTV, here with Rachel Yoder. Rachel, what personal record did you set? Um, I set my personal record in the 200 meter dash with a 26.29. That's impressive. So how long did it take for you to reach that goal? It's taken me um, until my senior year, so all four years of track to reach this. I've been stuck in the 27s um, since this year, and I finally broke into the 26s. That's a lot of time and dedication. Well, thank you for your time, Rachel. I'm Ashlyn, signing off. Jonathan with the non-stop movie review. As promised, the film non-stop provides literally non-stop entertainment. Air Marshal Liam Neeson plays a paranoid alcoholic on a hijacked transatlantic flight. The hijackers plan on exposing the flaws in American security by detonating an explosive at 40,000 feet. Every scene provides a new thrilling twist to an already almost overwhelming plot. Nonstop will literally keep you on the edge of your seat as Liam Neeson, feared hijacker, leads a team of passengers to an explosive finish. Nonstop provides constant entertainment with an excellent mix of a little bit of heartstrings that really make you feel. I highly recommend Nonstop and give it an 8 out of 10. On February 28th, Busch Gardens hosted another High School Journalism Day to give local students a behind-the-scenes tour of their latest renovations. Since Busch Gardens has been open of March of 1959, it has expanded and grown to include six roller coasters, three water rides, several children's play areas, and much more, all on about 335 acres. However, there will be an addition to Busch Gardens roller coaster family coming May this year. We get some insight from Busch Gardens Vice President of Design and Engineering, Mark Rose, as to why they chose to revamp a certain section of the park, which used to be called Timbuktu. We now renamed the Pantu because this hasn't had a, a number of investments over the years, so we thought this would be a good time to update the whole realm. Within the remodeling of Timbuktu comes the opening of four new eateries. I think I smell cooking meat. Let's go down here and see what's cooking. Okay, we are constructing Dragon Spire. Now, think about this. Two words, dragon and fire. What could be better than to have those two words in anything, right? We will grill meats and other things that will create aromas that will just go through Pantopia and everybody will be hungry. And everybody will say, smells like dragon spire. So let's go get something. Alongside with the new eateries comes a brand new merchandise store called Painted Camel Bazaar. While the refurbishing of Timbuktu, or soon to be Pantopia, may be exceptionally important, the introduction of Falcon's Fury is what will really catch each visitor's eye. Standing 330 feet tall, Falcon's Fury is the tallest drop tower in all of North America and is the first of its kind to rotate riders 90 degrees downwards before free falling for 6 to 7 seconds. Busch Gardens Director of Design and Engineering, Jeff Hornick, gives us a scoop on this thrilling new attraction. We've got some amazing animal attractions, we've got some amazing roller coasters, but what we wanted to do is really plus up the thrill ride experience of it. So not only were we building this great new Pantopia realm, but we also have this, uh, this amazing drop tower. And we wanted to make it the biggest, baddest, scariest drop tower around. So 335 feet tall and a face for drop, which no one's ever done before. Come May 1st, Falcon's Fury will come alive. All the hard work and dedication of the Busch Gardens faculty and staff will be fulfilled. Reporting from Busch Gardens, I'm Alexis Pastor. In case you missed the Multicultural Assembly, let's take a look at a recap montage.
Así sentir lo que somos ahora poder reír. Although Christmas is in December, we like to celebrate it year round. Let's take a look at a Christmas music video. Mamacita. Magic show by Julian. So Julian, tell me, when did you realize that your power? Shh. I just saw the future. You'll blink three times in the next ten seconds. Okay. Uh, can you show me, me one, one of, of your, your magic, magic tricks? tricks. I, yes. I have this incredible one. You, you ready? I, I'm pretty ready. Okay. Here we go. No, we don't have any Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, uh, yeah. Fourth grade, I showed my mom. She passed out. I hope she came back, too. She never left. So, show me something else. Okay, this one I've been working on. It's not, it's not complete yet, but, um, okay. Really incredible stuff. You know, I'm still working on perfecting it, well, but then I have this. That's a given. So when you're doing this, I notice you're breathing yes. very specifically. It has to Tell do, me about the process. You have to take small, short breaths right. inside of large breaths. Um, Much okay. like giving birth and running a marathon. It's, Simultaneously, yes, so, of course. You know, it's, it's a lot to take in at the same time. Naturally. But once you get it down, you two can be magnificent. Well, you heard it here first, folks. We'll be right back after this commercial break. That was a great show, man. Let me see that one. The guy can't even do magic. I don't get it. People are infatuated with him, but he can't even do magic. Sorry, I mean, the ratings, we need him. I can't. Thank you for watching our latest magazine show. We'll be back in two weeks with our newest magazine show. I'm Julia. And I'm Ashlyn. Signing off. Yay!